Pioneer 5 was launched on March 11, 1960 at 1 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. The goal was to place the probe between the orbits of Earth and Venus in interplanetary space and then receive data back. Initially, Pioneer 5 was supposed to do a flyby of Venus, but got delayed past the transfer window. With technology developing as fast as it was, it made no sense to keep Pioneer 5 until the next window to fly by Venus, so it was launched on this mission instead. The spacecraft was 43 kilograms in mass and, unlike the video will eventually show, it was spin stabilized. It looked basically the same as Explorer 6 and shared the same telemetry system. Among its scientific instruments were a solar particle collector, a magnetometer, a Geiger-Muller tube to detect radiation, and a micrometeorite detector. It was launched on a Thor Able rocket just as Explorer 6 had been. Despite its tiny mass, it managed to send data back for 50 days, and its signal was detected until it reached a record range of 36 million kilometers on June 26, 1960. It had a 5 watt transmitter and a 150 watt amplifier to communicate at long range. To transmit for 5 minutes using the amplifier, it needed to recharge for 10 hours. Data received from Pioneer 5 confirmed that there is a magnetic field between Earth and Venus. The probe was placed in a 311 day orbit around the Sun with an apoapsis close to Earth's orbit at 0.99 astronomical units and a periapsis of 0.706 astronomical units. Pioneer 5 demonstrated that it was possible to use a small probe to transmit data from another planet and that mission was taken up by the Mariner program starting in 1962 with Mariner 2 becoming the first probe to enter another planet's sphere of influence. And on that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Pioneer 5.